Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we're going to take another look and see what a derivative is or what a derivative represents. So here we're going to take a look at it in terms of the rate of change of a function. In other words, it answers the question, how fast is a function changing? So here we have an interesting function. We have p of x is equal to minus 0.01x squared plus 2x minus 10. So what does p and x represent? In this case, p represents the profit. So let's say you have an operation, you build a certain number of units, and x represents the number of units that you build, the quantity produced, and you sell them. And so profit is then represented in terms of x in thousands of dollars. For example, let's say that you don't produce any units whatsoever. Well, you have an overhead cost of keeping your factory going. So that means that if x is equal to zero, your profit is minus 10, and since it's in thousand units, it would be minus $10,000. So your cost of operating would be $10,000 per, let's say, per day, per week, whatever the unit of time is. And so obviously, if you're not producing any units, you're losing a lot of money. But if you're producing units, you can see that after so many units produced, you'll start perhaps making some money. So for example, when P, the profit, when X is equal to zero, is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 10, so minus 10, that would be minus $10,000 of profit. But when x is equal to 10, p, when x is equal to 10, then you get, let's see, 0 0.01 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 minus 10, so that would be uh, 20 minus 10 is 10, plus 1 would be 11, so that would be 11, in other words, you would make a profit of $11,000. So you can see when you make zero units, zero profit, you make 10 units, you have $11,000 in profit. Of course, when x equals 20, when x equals 30, when x equals 40, you'll make more and more and more profit. So what does the derivative of that function represent? Well, that derivative represents how fast your profit is changing as you're making more and more units. So if you make one more unit, how fast is your profit changing? And so what we can do is we can find the derivative of this function. So the derivative, in this case, since x is the independent variable and p is the de dependent variable, the derivative in this case would be the slope of the tangent line, or it would be able to be rep represented by the dp dx, the change in the profit as x changes. And how can we find that? Well, if you've already studied some um, some calculus and you've already studied how to find the derivative, we can actually find the derivative here by simply going to the shorthand process. You take the exponent of x, you bring it forward and you multiply the constant here, so 2 times this and then subtract from the exponent. But in other words, what I'm doing here is if we have y is equal to x squared, then dy dx is equal to 2 times 1, 2 times x to the 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 times x to the first power, simply 2x. That's the shorthand way of finding a derivative. And if you don't know yet how to do that, I have some videos that actually exactly show you how to do that. But that, that means that the derivative of this can be written as 2 times that, which is 0 0.02 times x to the exponent minus 1, which is 1, plus 1 times 2, 2 times x to the 1 minus 1 is 0, x to the 0 is 1, and the derivative of a constant is just zero and so therefore the derivative of this function is equal to this. This tells me how fast the profit is changing when x changes. For example, uh, dp dx, of course which is a function of x, is equal to 0.02x plus 2. If I now plug in a certain value for x, how fast is the profit changing when I plug in a value for x, for example, 10? I want to know how fast the profit is changing when x is equal to 10, when I build 10 units. So that means, if I plug that in, this is equal to 0.02 times 10 plus 2, and so this would be equal to 0.2 plus 2, which is equal to 2.2. And of course, this is in thousand in units of 1,000, which means that if I'm producing 10 units, and then I want to produce one more, the 11 unit, my profit will go up by $2,200 when I produce that 11th unit. That's how fast my profit is changing at that moment in time. So that's found by finding the derivative. But let's say I want to find out how fast my profit is changing if I build 100 units. So here I go, dp dx when x is equal to 100 is equal to, and let's plug that in here, there's my derivative. I'm going to plug in uh, 100 for x, so this is equal to 0 0.02 
times 100 plus 2. And of course, that would be 2. That's 2 plus 2, which is 4. And of course, that's in units of $1,000, which means if I make 10 units, every time I make an additional unit, I make an additional $2,200 in profit. But if I make 100 units, my profit will increase by $4,000 per unit because, of course, then the cost of running the business is a smaller percentage of my total cost of running the factory, and therefore I make more and more profit as I produce more and more units. So in this case, the derivative is a tool that tells you how fast the function is changing. In this case, how fast the profit is changing when the independent variable, in this case, the number of units being produced, changes. So if I produce 10 units, I make $2,200 more profit for every unit built. If I build 100 units, if I built 101st unit, I will make an additional $4,000 in profit. So here the derivative simply represents the change in the function. How fast is the function changing when the independent variable changes? And that's a good way of looking at the derivative.